well, if you couldn't tell by the scenery, I'm at Six Flags today. This is the opening day of 2020, and I'm going to see how this goes. Judging by the traffic here, which took about 35 minutes to get in, in addition to the half hour it already gets here, this is going to be great. Uh, yeah. Fuck off. I'm back. So one thing that I can immediately notice is there's still a lot of people here despite the COVID. Granted, it's opening day, but it's a lot of people. They changed how the uh, attraction accessibility pass works again, so I gotta get that done. They gave me one for today, though, so that's nice. Uh, a couple of rides are closed off the top of my head. Zoom and Jaro. Justice League, Wonder Woman. I think those are the only three off the top of my head. The Wild Safari is a drive through now. But, uh, yeah. I'm just probably going to make my way over to Nitro and then ride that for first ride this season. That's what I'm planning to do. So I obviously might as well detail what I have, well, what's changed for Six Flags this season with the uh, Rona and stuff. So you have to wear a mask in the park at almost all times. There's like a couple mask breaks, mask breaks around. There's one close to Cyborg. You have to go through temperature screening, which is just like I'd imagine a thermal camera. I pass, clearly I passed that since I'm in the park now. Close to the bumper cars, rannies, such. Yeah. Uh, there's a unofficial six foot separation rule but apparently no one's really listened to it whatever as i said a couple rides are closed but yeah so this is where the entrance to the looney tunes land would be i don't 100 know where it is but if i back up a little bit maybe if i go on the stage thing over here you can see jersey devil which it's getting constructed uh, it's officially delayed till 2021, but it looks good. I can't wait to ride it. Obviously not holding any shows this season, so it's just kind of a fair place. Oh, wait, no, there is a separate entrance now for uh, Louis Tunes Land. A little bit better view of Jersey Devil construction. Uh, looks to be gone. I have no idea how far that down that goes, but they ripped out most of Louis Tunes Land, uh, except the little uh, swing thing over there. It has this tornado. But yeah, all that's closed. And now it's Jersey Devil in unopened state for now. Official announcement, also this ride isn't open, so this is just a dead zone. Ain't that fun. So uh, I'm gonna ride Nitro now. I rented a locker because I don't have zipper pockets. So I'll be back in a little bit. All right, uh, I just rode Nitro, first ride of the season. Awesome as always. Operations, they clean every other, they clean trains every other cycle or so. So like one train goes, and then once it comes back, it gets clean, runs, then it goes. So operations a little slower because they got to clean stuff. And also like every other row is open. But for the most part, it's I still ride most of the things. I'm gonna get my dining pass and then I'll probably report back with food. The arcade is still open at reduced capacity, so but it's open. So uh, it's going. So season pass headquarters was extended to where prior laser maze was or gift shop or whatever. I don't quite remember. But uh I'm gonna ride Dark Knight and Wonder Woman now. I'm probably get a break after because as warm as this mask is this is not meant for july weather because as i stated earlier this is july 3rd quote unquote member season pass preview and seeing as i hold a season pass well i'm here so all right it's done okay so i'm gonna get a drink now because it's kind of hot out and i have no intent of being out here in the weather, the lines will be a little long, but that's because everyone is distancing. Music. I don't know what that is, so I'm just gonna roll with it. 
a little bit of a line to get some food, even a drink, despite it being kind of towards the end of the lunch rush. So I don't know what that's all up about. I just wanted to get a drink and go. All right, I'm in a somewhat secluded area, so I took off my mask. And so here's how food operations work. There's a long line for about everything. So if you're gonna get something, that crap, I almost dropped my phone. Be prepared to wait a lot. If you can't tell by my face, I am fucking sweating. Like, it's not even funny. Oh god. Again, the mask I have is a little much for this weather. It's a little warm when it's about 90 degrees out, so not the best idea. I don't think. Alright, I'm probably gonna ride, take the Skyway over to the uh, b uh, Bizarre Runaway Mine Train, whatever, and then just ride those. I'll update later. The best part about the Skyway is that you can get some pretty good views of the park. Obviously, there's a lot of trees in the way, but yeah, even during the Rona, you can get some good views. There's Joker, the lake behind it. There's Jersey Devil back there. Batman, Nitro, Ferris Wheel, Green Lantern, Superman, motherfucker. Oh, fuck, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me. Okay, if you wanted to wonder why I was suddenly freaking out, it's because the car suddenly stopped and uh, I'm kind of scared of heights. Last year I got stuck on the skyscraper right there. And I was freaking out for like the 10 minutes it got stuck up there because it's just like, hey, I'm going to fall and die. And the same would probably be true if I fell from here. It's uh, not a fun thought to think about. The more I'm moving, the more I can relax and just go. But yeah, regardless, it's a good view. Uh, Wonder Woman. The Daredevil Dive, King of the Cods, Human Jaro, El Toro, Bizarro, Walk Through a little bit, Runaway Mine Train, formerly Night uh, Rolling Thunder, there's all the Boardwalk and its games. One of my friends who works at the park, he, I don't think he work. I don't think he's on shift today, it's just like, he works in games, it's just like, hey, how's Three Point Challenge? I have to check that out for him and film it. Yeah, there's a carousel. It's very relaxing up here, except when I'm stopped and I think I'm gonna die. So that's fun. Looks like Bugs Bunny Land is still open for the time being. Uh, and there's a, a very brown polluted on the lake. I don't know what it is, but it's there. And it's very polluted because it's brown or dirty. I don't know, I don't care. Is El Toro running? It might not be, I don't know. Looks like the best of the West is closed because there's a. I dropped my phone again. Yeah, there's a fence over there, so the best of the West is closed. Alright, I'm gonna ride a uh, Bazaar on El Toro now. I'll be back. So, uh, I just did Bazaar or one of my. Uh, El Toro on the runaway mine train. I notice I'm getting a lot more nauseous easily. Granted, I also haven't been to a theme park in about six months, so makes sense, I guess. Anyways, uh, now I'm going to get dinner. It's currently about 4.45, and I haven't had anything today except a protein shake, so I think some actual food is in order. Uh, my good friend Adam should recognize the song. It is... I believe it is Get Jiggy With It. Or at least uses a sample of Jet Get Jiggy With It. So... Might as well make a little post of curiosities that I saw. Uh, or rather that I couldn't see from the main pad, so. Construction on Jersey Devil. I can see from Nitro. Close to the first turn. Uh, yeah, about there. About there to the hammerhead. And then from Bizarro, lift. I could see a bunch of people in the wild safari. Um, I heard from my mom when I was being driven here because even though I'm 17, I don't have a license yet. So, oh, for 
at least five more days because my road test is Wednesday, the eighth. So apparently, when it was opened, it had like a three-hour wait to see animals, and I don't know who would do that. But granted, I've also waited almost as long to get into Fright Fest a couple of years back, so eh, I could see some people waiting for it. But uh, I'm at the Garden State Grill now. Y'all can see it. It says Garden State Grill. Uh, and I'm probably gonna get a burger or something. Something to fill me up. Good. Big boy. Big food. Food acquired. Jersey burger, which is a burger with a pork roll on it with cheese. Kinda like social distancing. Okay, I just finished my meal. It was your average kind of okay fast food burger. So now I'm gonna ride Superman and probably Green Lantern. I don't know, I'm not a super huge fan of that ride, so I might, I might not. Uh, after that, probably Sky Screamer and then Dish. I had a fun day, but I could probably, but I think four hours is starting to push it. This is for my friend who works at the theme park. It appears that Three Point Challenge has been almost completely gutted sans for the scoreboard and the basketball hoop. I have no idea if it's going to reopen this year. Shut up, Twister. Uh, yeah, I have no idea if this is going to reopen this year or at all. Because it looks gutted. Oh, uh, basketball holders look to be still there. Or is that a prize holder? I don't know. Okay, here's something a little odd. It's about an hour before the park closes, and I had a uh, locker here. Here's the thing, I can't select it. I could rent a single-use locker, except I don't want one. I could open an expired locker, except my locker isn't expired. My, my thing is still valid, so I don't know why I can't do it. Granted, the park also closes at 7, so I think most lockers should be cleared by now, but... Nice drop of phone. I have butter fingers today. Um, I don't know where I'm gonna put my stuff because I'm here alone. If they have stuff on the ride platform, I might be able to throw it on there, but I don't know, dude. I don't know why, but I always hear this song coming off of Superman. It's like a pop rock version of Yeah, Kiss the Girl from Little Mermaid. Um, now, now it's reminded me of when I was in a play for Little Mer Mermaid back in 8th grade. That was over three years ago, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Superman got a new paint job though, which is nice. It kind of needed one. Unfortunately, uh, Bizarro and Nitro do not still have one, and they really need it. Juicy hot dog. All right, I just got off Green Lantern and there's a train going. So I can definitely tell my tolerance for nausea is increased because uh, I almost threw up. Uh, luckily, I'm pretty good at holding uh, puke in for the most part. It was just kind of like a hiccup leading to like a small bit of bomb, but it's always something to consider when yeah, my, my nausea tolerance has been uh, compromised a little bit. Anyways, uh, getting close to the end of my visit here, so I'm gonna do skyscraper and then uh, ditch. Here's a view of the boardwalk because this is an idea of what it looks like. This is about a half hour before closing, so. <laughs> so some people, I guess. Also screaming baby in the back. The inconsistency of this art irks me. Wario, Yoshi, Toad, and Peach are all from Mario Kart Wii. Luigi's from Mario Kart DS, Mario's from Mario Kart 8, so what's with the diff? This song is a meme. All right, I'm heading home now. Well, rather, I'm walking back to the car, which should be a little bit of a walk, which should give me enough time to describe my thoughts on how uh, Great Adventure was run during COVID. So overall, I don't think it was run too poorly. Uh, I don't think a lot of the mask, 
the mask and social distancing things were enforced too much. But I mean, like, for the most part, it was fine. Uh, it still kind of hurts losing a couple rides. King to Kai, as I said earlier, King to Kai, Zoom and Jaro, uh, Justice League, a couple other uh, things. I think most water rides, actually. Um... But for the most part, I would go again during COVID. The only thing is though, if you're wearing a heavy mask like me, like this is a scarf mask with the iced earth burnt offerings on it. If you're gonna go during one of those, either go in like the evening or wear, go on a cold day or in the evening. Because I had to learn that the hard way because that you will sweat and you will want to die if you do not have a light mask on. Um, but other than that, I would definitely go back during COVID again. In fact, I'm already planning to on Monday with a couple friends. So, yeah, I think that, that's going to do it for this vlog. Uh, catch you on the flip side. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I probably already have COVID now. I'm not testing for it, but considering I was at a theme park with probably 2,000 plus other people. Statistically, I encountered someone who had COVID and I'm probably exposed to it and I'm going to get it. So, yay for me.